Hey guys, and welcome back to another one of our videos. So today, it's gonna to be a little bit different than what we would usually do, and that's because I wanted to share the process of me working on the coffee table that I'm actually building. So this is gonna be a DIY rustic coffee table. Come along and I will show you guys just how to build it, start to finish, and hopefully it turns out how the picture looks from what I got off the internet. <laughs> so in order to get this project started, there's a few things you're going to need, of course. Now, I'll have these all listed right here. So here are some of the tools you're going to need. And over here is going to be some of the materials that you're going to need in order to make this a successful project. So the first step, you're going to want to cut all of the wood into the appropriate size length. So when you're ready to start sanding, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you use something fine like 180. So now that you're ready to stain your wood, you're gonna to wanna to have the stain first of all. So I'm gonna be doing the legs first, the base of the table, and that is an ebony stain. And then you're gonna to wanna to have a pair of latex gloves. Obviously you don't wanna get stain all over your hands. You wanna try and keep this as clean and mess free as possible. Uh, you know, obviously it's stained, so it can be very messy. And once you're ready to apply the stain, what I like to do is take like an old sock. Now if you have a proper cloth or something like that, it can work too. But I'll just put it on my hand like so and dip it in the can and just rub it into the wood. If you probably have a missing sock that doesn't have a friend lying around, well, it's perfect. So I have been working on the first coat of stain and the second coat of stain over the last couple of days. So yeah, that's right, I'm in the same clothes, but it's actually like three days later since I've talked to you guys last. And the thing is, staining takes a lot of time, especially when you have to work all day and you only have like a couple hours in the evening. So without further ado, I'm on to the next color of stain and that is the dark walnut. So the dark walnut is for the very top, for the four boards that go on top of this coffee table. And one thing that I forgot to mention is that it's really good to sand in between coats of stain. So I was using about a 320 sandpaper and that just helps smooth it out, get rid of any blotches of stain that may have grouped up, things like that. And that just gives you a nice smooth finish towards the end. Now, once I've done all of this and I've got another layer of stain on each different stain for the boards, I'm going to be moving on to the poly, which is the final thing to do. And then I'll be able to start putting this bad boy together. Now that the table has fully been stained, you've put all your coats of poly on it, you've sanded it, and then you put your last coat of poly on just to seal it in good you're ready to start putting this table together. Finally, you're saying, you're like, oh my goodness, I've applied so many coats of stain. At least that's what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, get out of here. She's making fun of me. So here's the thing. You're gonna wanna put it together in a frame and then piece it together kind of like piece by piece. So I've started here, I'm gonna show you it and I'm gonna pre-drill all of the holes for the screws in each frame piece by piece just so that I don't worry about wood splitting and just trying to give it a nice look because at the end of the day, I don't want giant splits through the front, but you can actually see when the table's finished. And make sure that you pick the best sides of the wood. So take a look at all four sides, you know, make sure that it's the side that you want and then strategically place that so that the sides that don't look so great are not showing or on the carpet on the ground or hidden underneath the table. Do that. <laughs> Base is done. Just taking a moment. If you're at this part, take a moment to pat yourself on the back because if it looks as good as mine does, <laughs> then you should be proud of yourself. Okay, so I didn't include a couple steps there, but what I did is I put together the top, the bottom, 
And then once those are done, attach them both together with some legs right here. So what you're gonna wanna do is I put them on the bottom first. That way when it came to screwing the top part onto them, I could really put all my force in, all my weight behind it and really screw those together. And make sure you have an assistant because you need someone to help you with that as well. So my darling wife, Ayla, helped me. And now we are ready to add the top, the finishing. I'm so excited. Nervous. You're nervous. Ayla's nervous. So as you can see, I am now standing in my living room. So that can only mean one thing. You guessed it. The table is done. Yes. Now that the table's done, without further ado, it's time for the grand reveal of the project that finally, after what feels like forever, is done. I'm so happy with how it turned out actually. So without further ado, here we go. Alright guys, that's the table. I hope you liked it. It feels so great to finally see it come and be completed and know that like my hard work and Ayla's hard work went into making something awesome that we're gonna love even more than had we just bought it at the store. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. Follow us on all of the other videos that we do and this is kind of a one-off so go check out some of the other stuff, see if it's for you and comment down below if you enjoyed this, if you have any questions, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, bye guys. Oh, my other helper gets to be in the outro because she helped a lot too and I love her so much, yay. Yeah, I did. <laughs> You're the best. Mm -hmm.